Still looking at a lot of clouds out there this midday. The showers and storms have been confined mostly across the lower valley over the last couple of hours, and rain chances will continue to decrease west to east as we go through this afternoon into this evening. There is the radar showing that line again. Showers and storms from just east of Raymondville between there and Port Mansfield starting to kind of break up a little bit, and then some heavier downpours down around Los Fresnos just north of Brownsville. Crossing Highway 100 right now, so Los Fresnos is getting some heavy downpours, pushing its way towards Bayview. Looks like it's going to stay west of the island, though, but still could see a few more showers and storms far up from general, in that general area over the next few hours. So there's our upper level low continuing to spin out towards our northwest, moving off towards the east. And as it pulls away from deep south Texas, it's going to take the rain chances with it as well. And so after this afternoon, this evening and overnight, it's going to be looking at mainly just clouds around and isolated showers are expected. So here's future cast still showing a lot of clouds across deep south Texas, but the clearing line is actually just a little bit further north from Laredo, about the Laredo San Antonio line. West of that is where we're seeing the clearing skies. So this afternoon as we're seeing those showers and thunderstorms across the lower valley. We put this into motion two o'clock, still seeing some lower valley, some just to the south of Hidalgo County there in Mexico, all of it moving off towards the northeast. So really not expecting a whole lot for Star County, for most of Hidalgo County, other than some isolated showers around as we go through the rest of the afternoon. You can see that whole area is still pulling away. And by 7 o'clock this evening, just a couple of little showers, maybe some heavy downpours, but mainly confined along the coastal areas. And then by daybreak tomorrow, we should see things pretty much stabilized across the area. It's going to be a nice Wednesday afternoon. Rainfall estimates from now until 3 o'clock tomorrow morning. Uh, not, notice out west, not much. Maybe a tenth of an inch of rain if you get a, a little shower popping up there. Otherwise, maybe a half to three quarters of an inch, but that's for the lower valley where we're already seeing those showers and storms uh, midday, and they'll continue at times for the afternoon hours. Highs today, right close to that 80 degree mark, and really not going to see the temperatures warm up a whole lot further than that because of clouds sticking around. But tomorrow, we have the clouds break up. It's going to be a much warmer afternoon. Tomorrow will be closer to normal. 80 on the island today. That uh, shower and thunderstorm chance continues there. Uh, UV index high. Rip current risk is moderate. Looking at a low tide at 3.30 this afternoon. And out on the bay, a moderate chop this afternoon. Sunset tonight at 648 looking uh, again a little stormy uh, for this afternoon as you go towards the coastal waters out in the tropics have a lot of dust across the Atlantic but we now have newly formed tropical storm Martin in the far northern Atlantic and we have Lisa out in the Caribbean Martin's going to continue to move eastward and away from the US mainland not expecting to be any concern for the United States and then there is Lisa Lisa is moving off towards the west at 14 miles an hour expected to make landfall near the coast of Belize uh, over the next um, couple of days or so. It could become a Category 1 hurricane prior to landfall. And then 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. Thursday, again, pushing onshore. This is also not going to be helping us in the rainfall category. Don't forget the Valley Storm Team weather app. It's available for free in your app store. Get that on your mobile device. You'll be all set. You should already have it there, right, Marco? I already have it. Everybody sure. should. I always just... get updated regularly. <laughs> there you go. That's the whole idea, right? 7-day forecast then tomorrow in the mid and upper 80s for temperatures with the sunshine returning. And then near 90 degrees by Friday. Another front approaches just in time for the weekend. That's when we'll bring in some smaller rain chances for Saturday uh, morning into Saturday afternoon. Yeah, so I like the rain, but, you know, good thing is it's that we're getting some more rain because we need it. We need it, and yeah. now that we've had the clouds around a couple days, I'm okay yeah. with a little bit of sun coming yeah, back for a little bit. Yeah, the sun to come back. Yeah, this is perfect stay-at-home weather. <laughs> Thanks so much, Jim. Stick with us. We'll be right back.